Banzai! Normally I'd say welcome back Grinder C3, Cobras, Miyagi Dos, and Eagle Fangs. Rawr! Unfortunately, it uh, did not record the warm-up in kicks this morning. That's on me, and I apologize. I will try to do better in the future. But, we are here for the workout, and uh, we started a new workout today. You, you might think it would be Eagle Fang 7, and you'd be half right. It is actually Eagle Fang Venom. I figure if eagles can have fangs, they can have venom. Why not? Anyway, I've changed some of the uh, exercises up a little bit. Some of them I've done before. A couple of them are new. Just to change things up, I think uh, variety is the spice of lifting. I don't know. I think you need to change things up now and then to uh, so you don't get used to it and you don't get bored. So anyway, this is it. Now, the way I've structured it this time is it's three sets again. But this time I'm doing eight reps, or I'm sorry, ten reps, eight reps, and six reps. And you're like, oh, six reps, that's nothing. Well, by the third set, I'm pretty tired already. And I'm trying to make it heavier. I'm trying to lift heavier. So we can build some bulk in here. But anyway, nothing to Gavin. I'm going to pop the buds in, and let's commence to grinding. Banzai! All right, Banzai grinders and everybody, here we go. Uh... It's going to be a little bit goofy with the camera angles and everything because, like I said, this is a new routine. I'm just getting used to it. So uh, things aren't going to go quite as smooth as uh, they have sometimes gone in the past. But anyway, the very first exercise up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do squats. I put the bar on my back. Um, I'm using the front squat uh, setting, but I'm going to go ahead and do squats. And like I said, this round you're only going to see six reps because it's supposed to be heavier. Uh, the squat fortunately can go up much more. But before we go any further, I want to do today's devotional, which I backed up a day and I'm doing a friend's and it's called Encouraging Intercession. Don't worry about the title though. But what it says is pray for all people, ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Timothy 2, 1 and 2. And, you know, that's one thing I think a lot of us struggle with, especially the people that are more politically involved and aware. It's uh, maybe very difficult to, to pray for the other side. And um, we should be doing it anyway. And... Um, <laughs> Regardless of what side you're on, you're always unhappy. So uh, my advice is to ignore politics and live your own life. Uh, but be that as it may, pray for everybody, your friends, your family, and your enemies. That's how you find peace in your life. And that's my devotional for today. Okay, you just saw me doing the bench press. That's an oldie but a goodie. Um, what I decided for, for Venom was uh, there were going to be two chest and two arm exercises. Um, a legs exercise, a back exercise, and a tricep exercise. So there's a total of seven, I believe. And we start with the squat, and we go into regular old bench press. This is the barbell curl. Uh, the first three uh, exercises are all with the bar, and you can see how I struggle to get that first one up. That first one's so hard. And yeah, I'm kipping, and believe me, the machine tells me, uh, stand up straight, don't be kipping. Uh, yeah, well. Shut up. You're not the one lifting the weight. And uh, then we... Now, there is supposed to be one more here. I'm supposed to be doing bent over rows. But I got ahead of myself. And without even looking at the screen, because I'm clearly too smart to do that, uh, I go right into the overhead tricep extension. And uh, there is considerably more weight on the... Um, on the bent over row than there is for the tricep extension especially after the second rep when eccentric kicks in which you're gonna see it literally pulls me off my feet here so one thing I did is I turned the camera and I moved my body so that you weren't staring directly into the light and so you can see it's a struggle to throw this forward and see it it literally pulls me back and then Tonal said, uh-oh, he can't handle this weight, so it lightened it up a little bit. And that's why I was able to finish. But uh, I was supposed to be doing bent over rows there. And um, I, I figured it out here, and that's probably why the camera's static, 
showing nothing but the beautiful wall and ceiling for a few minutes. See, there I'm realizing what I did wrong. I was like, oh, you're a jerk. Oh, well. So, hopefully I will remember and fix that next time around when we do this again on Wednesday. So, here I am saying, I'm back again. And uh, you can see this is considerably easier for me to do. Um, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes you make mistakes. Fortunately, I didn't get hurt. You know, that is something that probably could have... Uh, hurt me so should be paying more attention make sure you pay attention to what you're doing in the gym even if it's a home gym so that is all of the barbell exercises and the single rope now we're going into the handles and uh, you're gonna see some um, old favorites here so it takes me a second to get things adjusted I think I remember to move the camera pretty sure so Yep. Uh, I really like the incline chest press, so we're doing that here, and it has jacked the weight up on me a little bit, so this is a little on the heavy side, but that's what you want. If you're going to make improvements and change, you you got to have some weight on there. So, And, you know, like I said, the one great thing about Tonal is it's going to learn me, and it's going to say, okay, you can do this much. This is where you're going to start struggling. So we're gonna we're gonna add a little weight on there, cheeky, and it does. And uh, personally, that's what I love about this machine. So okay, and now we're gonna go into one of my all-time favorites that I haven't done for a long while, and that is the concentration curl. So uh, they don't have a setting for that, so I just call it a handle move, and. Um, I guess I don't have the camera quite low enough, but you're going to get the idea. You put your elbow right in your knee, and you just curl it up under, and it kind of isolates the bicep there. One of my favorites. So I'm doing 10, 8, and then 6 on each side. You're not going to be able to see the left side so well, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> yeah, this is probably a pretty bad angle, but... You know, you get the idea. And if anybody's watching this long, you know what they're doing. So, that is the uh, routine for today, the new one. And that's all I've got to say. I'll see you back on Wednesday. Okay. That was, uh, different. I messed up big time there. Uh, I'm supposed to do bent over rows. And, uh, because this is a new routine, I forgot. I didn't check the board. I just went ahead and did what I thought was next, which was the um, overhead tricep extension. And I screwed up. I didn't do the, the rows. And that's probably why the weight got so hard it pulled me off my feet. So, uh, oopsie on me. Anyway, we did 12,000 pounds. Not too bad for a brand new routine that we're starting to learn. And uh, we'll see what else happened here. <sighs> Strength score was a 737. I thought that went up to 738. But it's 737, 79 workouts, uh, 1.1 million pounds. Which, that's not right, is it? Come on. Uh, 1 million 13,000, almost 14,000 pounds. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's what we got for today. That's the new routine Venom. Uh, I'm going to try and lift heavier. See if we can put some more bulk on this. Uh, there's the flexion. Oh, one sided Hogan will rotate it into the other. Woo! Have a great day, a great week, and we'll see you back here maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. You have to tune in to find out. Bonsai.